Hello everybody, I am Karina Chin with KarinasCreations.com and I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I'm a little late with my Facebook Live today, so hopefully if I keep chatting, a few of my friends will find me and realize I'm on. Or I hope that they will watch the replay because I have a really, really fun card to share with you today. Oh, I see Celine's here. Hello Celine, how are you? I'm a little behind because my daughter got a brand new job and she needed a police check. So we basically sat in a parking lot for two and a half hours. The upside of that is that we found a really fun restaurant called Max's and it had the, the well, some of the best noodles I've had in a long time. So there's always, always, I find a positive thing that happens in my little adventures and we got her check done and she starts work tomorrow. So that's a really good thing. Hello, Karen. How are you? And I see Amy's here. Hello, Amy. Thank you for watching me today. What was I going to talk about today? Um, I wanted to mention a few important things. Today is the last day to get your starter kit with Stampin' Up. So the Stampin' Up starter kit costs $135. You get to choose $165 in product. There's no shipping or no GST. Plus you get an extra product. Uh, you get an extra bundle. So it can either be a punch bundle or it can be um, a die bundle. And I'm going to show you a die bundle right away that I think is cute. Well, actually, maybe I will mention it. Um, this is the Peony Garden Suite, and this is the Prize Peony Stamp Set done with this card. And then the dies that coordinate with it, I think they're the Peony dies. You could get this uh, bundle for free with your starter kit. And today is the last day um, to get your starter kit. That includes a bundle. You can get it any other time of year, but it's a value of about 88 up to $88. So it's a pretty good deal. And then you become part of my crafting crew team as well. And we have a team meeting um, on the first Friday of every month. And that's going to be this Friday. So I've already got the cards designed for the girls and they're in the mail. So I just wanted to mention that. Um, also, if you're placing a large order, $300, you get extra hostess credit of $300 as well today. So that ends tomorrow. I think it would be 12 o'clock tonight is the deadline, but don't hold me to that. Um, another thing I wanted to mention quick was on July the 11th. Oh, I see jo oh, Joy's here. Hello, Joy. And Betty's here. Hello. And Linda's here. Linda's from Sydney, Australia, and it's 7.30 in the morning there. Oh, my goodness. Good morning. Um, it's only 3, what is it, 3.20 here? 3.25? in the afternoon. So you are way ahead of us. So thank you for joining me. Um, I just wanted to share this card that we're going to be making today. It looks like this. Isn't that fun? I'll use a different set, but I just wanted to quickly show you the cards that we made on Friday. So I spent about four hours on Sunday making the PDF tutorials for this because whenever I run a product-based class like this, I like the girls to have the PDF tutorials so that they can recreate the cards. I should mention this was my bonus card. Yeah, I went a little crazy, but it was fun. Look how cute this card is. So this one is like an extended ribbon slider card. There you go. Isn't that cute? So the cards were not hard, but they were really fun to do. And this was free when they bought the bundle from me, or you could pay $30 for the class. And it made the four cards. We had a lot of fun stamping. Aren't these beautiful? I love this peony garden set. And then look at this one. Isn't this one pretty? So it's a bit of a fancy fold. Isn't that fun? And then I think that was four. Was that four? One, two, three, four. Yes, it was. So what happened was with my bonus card, I went through this so quickly. I promised the girls I would do a video and I thought I would just share it with everybody because um, I thought it was such a fun design. Now, before I get started too, I always like to um, do a draw for people who like or share my video because it really does help me out um, in terms of getting Facebook to basically promote your page. So it does help me out a lot. And I actually drew Celine's name. Um, I use a thing called Wheel Decide, put all the names of Wheel Decide and spin the wheel and Celine won the prize. And Celine, you're actually on here. And I will be mailing you the faceted, what are these? 2019, 2021 in color faceted dots. I like these because these colors are still around. So hooray. So I will pop those in the mail for you. What else did I miss, you guys? 
Um, yes, my sizzling summer retreat. So I'm doing a sizzling summer retreat on July the 11th. I'm giving you basically two classes for $55. That includes $35 in product. So I went and designed the cards on the weekend. And I thought this was fun. This is the last day to sign up if you want to get in on this special deal. Uh, we are going to be... So the morning class is based around Zany Zebras. And I'll just quickly show you the cards. They're all fancy fold cards. I always like to do fancy folds. Well, okay, this one's not fancy fold. It's just cute. That's one. This will be another one. Look at this. Isn't that cute? I love these little zebra guys. And what I do is give you all the pieces, the cut pieces. And you can either order the Zany Zebra stamp set for an extra $26. Or you can just use whatever stamp set you have. But isn't that one cute? And then that was three. And then there's also this one. Super cute. So this is going to be the morning class. And then I also have the afternoon class is going to be based on the hand-drawn bloom stamp set with the coordinating dies. Or you can use whatever flower set you have. So if you signed up for the class and didn't order the stamp sets and you want them, call me tonight because I'm expediting my order tomorrow morning. And then this die, isn't this one fun? Uh, you will get this die as part of your as part of your class. So you don't have to have the dies. It's just really nice to have the stamp set. This one's kind of fun too. I always go a little crazy. It's hard for me to just design super simple, but I love the colors in this one. And then, oh yeah, there's this one. Okay, this one's another little fancy fold. I have not done the PDF tutorials for, for uh, this class yet. Because the peony one took me a long time. What do you think of that one? Do you like it? Pretty, hey? Yay! Oh, and Tracy's here too. Hello, Tracy. Hopefully I'm saying hi to everybody who shows up today. Uh, and then I also just finished designing my whale done class as well, which was stamp set of the month. And that one was $30.95. I don't know where I put the cards yet for that. I'll have to show you another day. Okay, I think I've talked about everything I needed to, right? Sizzling summer retreat, last day for the starter kit, last day to get your hostess, extra hostess dollars. And I think that's, oh yeah, I'm thinking about July 25th. I think it's a Saturday. I think we need to have another games night. I want to try to do some different games this time. Um, I'm going to sit down tonight and plan the rest of my summer because there's so much stuff I want to do. There's just not enough time. Okay, are you guys ready to stamp with me? I think I'm ready. Okay, like I said, so this was the, the bonus card that I did on Friday night for the girls. And it's not that hard. Um, I love this peony garden paper. I think it's just beautiful. And then all you do is get a um, set of blender pens. And I added Daffodil Delight to the center. And I colored this image with petal pink. And it creates such a beautiful card. And then if you want to wow everybody, this is where the wow part comes in. And I'm going to show you how to make this. But I'm going to use the Little Happy Zany Zebra stamp set. Because that way the people who are doing my sizzling summer class in the mail... Uh, they'll have an extra card that they can make with Zany Zebras. So I'm going to show you how to make this. And then also when I go to recreate this card a few months from now, I'll go, oh, that's how I did it. I actually go back and watch some of my videos. Okay, so the first thing we need to make this card is I'm using thick white cardstock this time, and I've cut it down to be five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Hello, Carolyn. I'm glad you made it too. I'll see most of you guys on Friday night with me for our crafting crew stamp night. The card kits went out in the mail yesterday, so hopefully everybody will receive them. Okay, now the next thing I did, this is kind of fun because this, this type of card works really well when you have a sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock. So I have cut two pieces from it. I've cut this piece down to 8 inches by 8 inches. And this is the Artistry Bloom Designer Series paper. And then when that happens, then you're left with another piece that I cut down to four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then I just set the scraps aside. But first of all, we're just gonna decorate the front of the card with this. And I have already taken a piece of rich Razzleberry cardstock. This is one and a half inches by five and a quarter. 
and I put it in the brand new embossing folder and the brand new embossing folder is called greenery embossing folder and this actually is part of the forever is it forever greenery set I believe but I just thought it would add a little bit to our card okay now I'm gonna pull out my brand new stamp and seal I'm still getting used to this it takes me a while to use products while I'm getting this to start, I should mention too that if you wanted to order any products and you live in Canada, you can go to karinachen.stampinup.net. This is the hostess code to use just for today and starting tomorrow I will change it. I'm going to change it up. And then I'll close off that order. Okay, so the stamp and seal, it works pretty good. I find sometimes you have to help it get started and it is sticky. So I do like that part of it. I'm just gonna attach this on here. So like I said, this is more of a simple card, but I really liked, I really, really liked the kind of pop, pop out part in the center of the card. I'm just gonna tie some white ribbon around it. Now this is the white seam binding ribbon. I've gone through so many rolls of this seam binding ribbon, just because it goes with everything. And I really like the fact that if I want to color the ribbon, you can use your stamping blends. Love that. So if you're a beginner stamper, you could actually make this card as well. You just wouldn't have the embossing on here. Okay, so let's stick this down to my card front. Oh, see, I keep going to check mark. I don't need to check mark. I just need to go straight up. Like I said, I'm challenged at first until I get the hang of some new products. And there we go. Okay, there's my card front. And I have gone and die cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I've actually used the Hippo and Friends dies. Now, when I saw this in the catalog, this is the Hippo stamp set, I went, eh, I don't know if I need hippos. I do need zebras. But look at these great dies, you guys. And I've been using them on a lot of different projects. I love this shape. And I love this shape. And then these two little pieces will actually add, cut a piece of paper so that you can thread your ribbon through your card. It's got little flowers, little balloons. Uh, it's got hippos, obviously, but super cute. And I think you can do unicorns. I have not really touched this set. I've only been using the dies right now. And this is where this shape came from because I think these will be very versatile and I can use that a lot. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my Zany Zebra stamp set. Which little Zany Zebra? I think I'm gonna use this guy. He's gonna be turning his head to give a happy greeting. So I was just checking, is Tara on here? Tara is not on here. It was her birthday the other day and I still haven't put her birthday card in the mail because I wanted to stamp her a cute one and then got doing tutorials all weekend. When I see Lisa's here, hello Lisa. Come to my Facebook Live. Okay, let's see. So I'm just stamping Zany Zebra. This little guy right here. And I'm using black memento ink. And then I'm also going to stamp, what should I choose? I think it's time to celebrate. I love it when a stamp set has a main image, so I have my three zebras and then a whole bunch of sentiments that go with it. Because then you can do a lot of fun things with these stamp sets. Okay, so that's gonna go here. And that's looking cute, but I think he needs a bit of color. So this is where I pull out my stamping blends. Now I know zebras are not purple. However, when you're doing cards, I can do a little bit of taking artistic license and we're making a purple zebra. I'm not coloring in the whole thing. I'm just doing his stripes because I think it looks super cute. Then I'll color his tail and it matches my card. There we go. I'm happy with that. I could have done blue as well. Maybe I'll give him like a blue mouth, muzzle. What is that? I don't know. What would you guys call that? Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. Okay, now I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals to pop this up. Uh, my Stampin' Dimensionals are probably, I don't know where they went. I was all ready to do my Facebook Live at 12 o'clock, like I said, and then we ended up sitting in the parking lot of the 
records police check area to get my daughter's police check done, but I'm so happy we went. She tried to do it online. It got rejected. And we tried to go yesterday and they cut the line off at 1.30 and closed the doors and she needs it for work tomorrow. So that's just what happens. Okay, now I have another tip for you guys. Uh, this card is looking super cute, but if you're putting in an order either today or tomorrow, uh, because if, you, if you're ordering tomorrow, you can actually pre-order from the brand new holiday catalog which is this I think I can show you the cover I can't show you anything else till tomorrow isn't that cute the brand new mini catalog so this is the benefit of having your demo number besides getting that free product and only paying 165 or 135 dollars for 165 dollars in product plus your bundle you can order tomorrow before anybody else and order some Christmas stuff and start playing and then one of the things I would get, either in your starter kit or in an order tomorrow, is this beautiful rainbow glimmer paper because I'm just going to punch one of these balloons. I don't know if it'll fit on my card. Let's see. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Isn't that just beautiful? I actually wanted to, um, you're going to be using it a little bit if you signed up for my sizzling summer retreat in a box. I've got my boxes being delivered today. I'm putting my final order in tomorrow, but I love this stuff. And you will get a little bit of rainbow glimmer paper. Not a lot, so you probably still want to order your own, but I thought that was pretty good. And you heard a dog. Did you hear a dog? I am puppy sitting right now, and that's Monty. Mr. Monty can be a super cute, good puppy, or he can be a little bit of a stinker puppy. And he does bark. But overall, I've loved having him. I make a really good puppy sitter. Okay, what do you think? Super cute? I think I might actually tack that down with a glue dot. Okay, now are you ready? Are you ready? If you have a piece of 8x8 eight eight cardstock, you're welcome to follow along with me because I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, we'll just set this aside. You can still see all the information if you need to place an emergency order or you're welcome to contact me and I'll add it to mine tomorrow because I'm expediting. It always kills me to have to pay that extra $25 for shipping, but it's well worth it. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, Carolyn says, hi, Monty. Carolyn was here the other day and met Monty. He's a little excitable. Okay, so eight by eight inch designer series paper. We're gonna fold this in half and I need to get my bone folder actually. Hopefully I can remember how to do this. It really helps if you make nice crisp lines. Okay, this one, there we go. All my bone folders have ink on them because I actually use this to re-ink my ink pads because that way I don't cut my ink pads. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. So I've got, I folded it in half one way, I turned it and then folded it in half the other way. So now I've got kind of like a cross. Now I'm gonna do a diagonal score line. So I'm just matching up the two triangles. And I'll again use my bone folder. So I've got one this way and then I'm gonna open it up and do the same thing on the other side. And you can do this with any size paper, it just has to be a square. I just find eight by eight fits nicely in my card base. Okay, so this is where I got stuck on Friday night. So you gotta make sure that you are holding your paper so you've got your X going like this. And then these two side lines, we're gonna push them in. And we're gonna pinch them like this. And we're gonna close this up. You gotta help it a little bit. And help it here as well. There we go. So now you need a nice triangle. Okay, so you've got basically a triangle this side that's open. Ooh, this could almost be like a frog mouth or something. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is take the tip of this paper and bring it into your center score line here. So we got this on one side and then this on the other side. There we go. 
and then I'm going to flip it over and then do the same thing. So we'll bring in this side this way and then we'll do this side on the other side. Okay, there we go. And now you're left with this. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to carefully open it up and we are going to fold in these corners. So you basically have a square here with the diagonal. We're gonna fold this in. And then we're gonna push this one in. And then we're going to push it in like this way on all four sides. And then you are done your card. Ta-da! What do you think? And then all we're gonna do is glue this down. Now, can you guys tell what I did wrong? Oh, Sharon's here. Hello, Sharon. It was an awesome card. Thank you so much for taking my class. Now, I really like this, but I don't really want that paper. I didn't really want that paper. I kind of want the purple one showing. I think that would look a bit cuter. But I wonder if I do it this way and this way and then this way, if I can just reverse it. Right? And then we put our X here. Oh yeah, this is gonna work, you guys. Look at this, we're gonna do the same thing. Do you feel like I'm doing fast forward? Zoom, 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 zoom. There we go. Oh my goodness. If you've never seen me before, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, this girl's a little crazy. There we go. That score line wasn't very good, so let's fix that. There we go. Okay, and then I open it up again and we're going to put it in this way and now it's the right direction okay now i'm happy i just want my card to look so beautiful because i've got it in mind i'm giving it to a friend of mine okay now we are back on track and now what i'm going to do is put it on the inside of this card so i'm just going to open it up and i think i can probably use Terran tape adhesive fold in that little bit or should I use you know what I'm gonna use liquid glue so I want to make sure that this point is close to the score line and then we'll just add adhesive on one side sometimes the liquid glue takes a bit longer to stick so I'm just gonna put some extra adhesive here get it going and I'm gonna gently close this up and I should probably let it sit for a couple minutes but because my video was a little late, I know everybody was so kind to stick around and wait for my video. Or maybe you're just stamping and happen to tune in. I still appreciate you being here, but I don't wanna make you wait while this uh, dries. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this one. And then there you go. So here's my fancy fold card. So this one is Zany Zebra which is part of my sizzling summer retreat. This is not one of the cards. This again will just be a bonus card that you guys can see. And then when you open it up, that's what it looks like. Um, and then this was the other card I did. See, I didn't even put this together from the other night. I don't know where my sample went, it's around. But the other last thing I quickly wanted to show you was this is a super cute card, but where are you gonna write your sentiment? Or write your greeting. So I found the best way to do it is to cut a piece of four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch cardstock. And then I needed to make a little pencil tick mark. Let's see if I can find a pencil. I don't know about you, but pencils always seem to walk away. Okay, so I'm going to line this up at two inches. We're gonna make a little tick mark there. And I'm gonna do that on three sides. So again, line this up at two inches. Put a tick mark and because it's pencil we can erase it later and I want to cut off these two triangles so I'm just going to line it up in my paper trimmer if you don't have a paper trimmer the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer is really great I love the score lines uh, the blade is extra sharp it's really easy to line up things you need to cut in the two in the track the scoring blade's really nice. And you can see how 
easy and fast that was. And this should fit. I might have to trim the bottom just a smidge. There we go. See, and that fits right in here. So I'm just gonna glue that down. And then that way I can write my sentiment. You know, happy birthday, you're an amazing friend. You're super. And I think this is such a pretty cute card. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like that? Oh, and see how this folded out? It's okay, we just need to tuck these in. I think it's doing that because I folded it the other direction and it didn't like that that much. And I think I'll just backtrack here. I forgot to show you the Artistry Blooms 12 by 12 paper. So this is what I did. And that's the cards. And this is the card pack that we're gonna be using for the Sizzling Summer Retreat. And I think that's everything I wanted to share because I hear Monty's getting all excited and now we're gonna have a dog in our video. So, like I said, you guys, thank you so much for watching me today at my very late video. If you need the starter kit, I would love to have you as part of our team. We have a really fun team, and I love everybody on it. Thank you so much for watching me today. And if you needed to place an order, there's the information. And I always share my cards on Karina's Creations dot com if you want to get some more stamping ideas so i hope you have an amazing day and happy canada day tomorrow everyone bye